Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody all around the world. And thank you for joining us today for another Left 4 Dead 2 RBT7 live show. My name is MK. I'll be your presentator for today. And I will be joined with a co-caster. It is going to be 9 now. How you doing now? I am doing excellent. Got a whole lot of clips from round 3. And excited for the matchups in round 4 as well. Yes, it's been another exciting week of RBT7, and I can tell you one thing, Nal, there was a bunch of matches streamed. I believe almost every single one, I think, was casted in some language. It was very close to everyone being covered. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy to see. We got them. Yeah, it was very awesome. It was nice to see all the casters from all over the world. A lot of the Spanish casters, the English casters, Chinese casters, trying to get every match done for everybody whenever we can and of course there's a lot of other tournaments going around so we're not trying to neglect them either but we're yes. going to keep rbt going off the top and i'll tell you what i don't know about you um nah but i had some very close matches that i've casted some under 100 points some less than 250 points quite a few of them how about you how about your side that's great that you've been getting some of those i think uh you had some great matches like vaso de Lecce versus fear factory there was another one too that was crazy close yeah. on your stream uh had some great ones on mine too uh the what's coming to mind right now is more of the one-sided victories but we had a lot of close ones as well of course yes we did and actually what i'm looking forward to this week is to see which Teams are going to be paired up for the ones that haven't lost yet to get those top, those top seeds coming oh, in yeah. up, up in the halfway through the Swiss stage. So that's something I'm really, really looking forward to. I don't know about what kind of uh, maps that were played. What was the most vetoed on your side for the matches that you've done? Was it a little different away from the Dark Carnival pairs from your side? We had a little bit more death toll. Um, and a couple oddballs, we had a detour ahead, we had a carried off, but it was a lot of the same old two, which I don't mind, they're classics for a reason, so those were great matches as well. Yes, they are, yes, they were. Um, well, actually, before we, um, that scared the crap out of me. me turn that down a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, before we go any further, why don't we take a little bit of the highlights from your side first, and let's check over a couple of them. And then we'll send it over to Fig Newtons in about 20 minutes. So let's go over some some highlights. Bring them up here for everybody. All right, I'll send it off here for you. No. All right, so if I'm gonna have co-caster audio for some of these clips. Um, had a lot of co-casters this week, but we're gonna be starting off with Back versus Gladstain. This was a crazy death toll chapter one. It was looking like Gladstain was gonna get the upper, upper hand, but as you can see, the car coming out, catching one. They go to pick him up. They do succeed at picking him up, but 
They're not quite going to escape. Triple car to start us off. This was like my first cast for RBT7 round three, and it was a psycho match. We head straight into our next clip. Again, Gladstain with the tank, and it was looking pretty worrisome. He only has 30% HP left. He tries to disengage. Sorry, I, went, I should have backed it up You're there good. You. You're good. So he will get the disengage here. But we see the survivors looking more over to the side. They know all these SIs are up. They drop down. They return their focus to the tank. But the triple cap comes out. And that is going to end the round as it stands. Gladstain going to be looking pretty good after that one. They did end up getting the win there. We are now headed over to Los Conte de Sumadre, the left, versus La Pantera de Callao beautiful engage the mortar spit started that off to force them around to this area hunter connects which allows the tank to drop straight in jockey carrying away as well and this is an explosive round for lpc as for uh the side of goat they were not able to find as successful as of a of a delay but we're going to see in this next clip right here um they had a decent tank on the outside uh, this, that wide outside area, but they had a lot of work left to do. Otherwise, LPC threatening to close the gap. Boom! Double charge comes out in the spit. Wait for it. They're trying to get up. Jockey on the head on the last player, still on the pipeline, carrying him all the way away, evaporating 350 plus bonus in an instant. That was massive play. Yeah. Okay, now <laughs> another, another big hit right out of the safe room. We have a little bit of time to talk about this because there was an accidental pause, but you can see the triple charge right into the jockey. Uh, we're going to get this unpaused in a second, but what you're going to see when the unpause comes back out, of course, is the jockey is going to carry all the way away. Boom, triple stumble. They still can't get the clear, and that's going to be a 20 percenter for LPC. They had a couple moments where they seriously shined but they did ultimately come up short. The main part of this clip that I wanted to show was right there at the beginning, they jumped up on top of the railing to avoid that charge collat that we see so many times at this tank spawn. And with that, um, they will be able to evade a majority of the damage of this tank. Uh, he is gonna get a couple more smacks here and there, but overall, he tries to disengage here and soon is just gonna gun him down. I thought this was such a nice play by soon. We've seen those clat charges in that area so often. However, it does start to fall apart for them here on the barge. First of all, the first smack, he gets saved by the boat, but then there goes Zoe taking a dip into the waters. I wasn't even focused on it as a cameraman that time because the, I, was, I was too focused on how he landed on the boat. Zoe goes flying into the waters. Down goes uh, Bill as well. And this looked like it could be... They actually took this to the finale. I didn't include a clip of the finale, but Chalo took it to the finale. They did their best. It was the win for soon. Now, this is... I'm checking the rule book right here because they're like, why are there so many uh, Sunrise members in Spectate? This is Sunrise versus AI Generated. So I'm checking the rule book. Suddenly, our match comes out. And right when we go to live, I'm not even ready for this. The charge starts us off and there's the kill. On to Sunrise Peluche, who I think was the ringer. Sunrise is not going to be very happy with that. Uh, but nonetheless, they <laughs> will carry on. They will continue on. They did not give up. And this was a huge tank moment. There were two tank wipes on, on Chapter 2 at the exact same spot. But this was a massive moment for Sunrise, the underdogs here in this match. In comes attempted double. They do find it eventually. They got the corner on Nick. It's just down to Coach, who does gun them down. But able to get a knock onto Zo or onto Rochelle, down she goes. Look how close the car was. <laughs> that would have stopped the game in its tracks there on Chapter Three. Should now, I unfortunately, Sunrise themselves did get wiped. But like anyways, we got kind of Rails corner. Barlow on the co-cast here. Zero Fang versus first Intel. First I'll let him take it away. Boomer, but this is what they're gonna have to work with. Tank gained the split that he wants though. You got Rochelle and Ellis on the one side, Nick and Coach on the other. SI going in. Tank whiffing a punch. Charger though is gonna land. That is pretty big. As the Hunter is also gonna land. Tank throwing a rock, landing it onto Rochelle. That's a lot of damage. There's a punch going out as well. Now the Charger gets cleared. That is more damage, honestly. Than well. Is Mike cut out there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there were some Discord issues, but regardless. 
lot of patience here from the SI because they saw that other hunter get skeeted, I think. And the charger goes in because they were looking for the hunter. There's the spit going down. Jockey's going to land. Nine and all. That was perfect SI play there. Coach is completely hoarded in the corner, but now he does manage to get out of it and get punched away. Tank is turning back around, going for Ellis and managing to hit him, but he also gets hit away across that field. Nice rock, though, landing on to Coach, but that is going to be a whiff going out as Coach is backing away. Another whiff going out, as a matter of fact. Now the Hunter goes in and does manage to land. Tank is going to wait for those God frames, and the Charger lands a double charge in the open field Yo, for what seems to no be the way. same time um, into a tank fight. That was a double and a single, and that's in cap going out nasty okay we are back to a solo cast uh streamers family versus akatsuki there were massive or massive tanks on both sides but this one caught my eye especially we see uh first of all the in cap down onto rochelle to start this off the si's are going to follow up they connect onto two it's just going to be down to the coach wait for it here they come jockey on the head hunter connects as well and it's looking like the wipe but look at the golf club he finishes it off there was only 180 health left and he finishes off the tank before he goes down he was on like one hp there massive massive swing uh for our golf player there headed into our next clip uh, Akatsuki starting to stumble a little bit here. The tank gets in. They were too focused. Look, they're fo look at Coach. He's all focused on clearing the SIs, but he doesn't get the clear. He takes a bunch of hits for his troubles. The Hunter will get cleared, but here comes the Jockey Charge. And Jockey carries into the separate room. Down goes Nick. He will eventually finish this charge, but Titanium, the tank, is ready to clean it up. Runs straight into the side room. Finishes the job. Jockey carries into the safe room. And this was a dangerous moment for Akatsuki because Streamer's family started breaking away. You can see it by the score here in chapter three, but the safe room hit comes out. Smoker in the spit, as well as Jockey carrying their ringer all the way down. Shunita, uh, not quite on the same page, gets stranded by his team. The death spit as well, they have to run through. They're trying to clear, they can't find it. They finally get the clear. 21% of the bonus gone at, straight out of the safe room. And it leads right into our next clip, which is the tank out of 66. If you thought that was bad, get ready for this one. He's hitting the car straight around. The survivor's trying to play ring around Rosie, but he can't ring around the Rosie. That straight into the tree bounces off. Double in cap. That's going to finish the round. And uh, Akatsuki survives on their survivor side. Locks in a lot of points. Ends up winning that one against Streamer's family. Hit, I think okay triple cast triple cast um so I'll let them take it away might be late to our alarm oh, looks like jockey goes behind lands it's gonna be a 2-2 two -two oh, they land you can't the, the jockey that's, that's gonna be a lot of damage on the jockey the smoker does land look at the alarm off the end the alarm car and a triple boom knee so test and Yui on the triple cast for this one Agartha versus Penguins of Japan yellow. wow and that is suddenly that a, a ton of damage hit. That was a lot. He will be caught right into the dumpster. Oh no, this could be a kill. I think he is going like, to kill. Oh, looks like he kind of fucked it up. Ah, uh, he looks like it is. Now the hit is coming in. The the attention is split for the survivors, and he's just gonna pub grind him. Looks like he does get the kill. Hunter lands. The like charger lands too. You just rock does land the charger rock gets three out. hits. Looks like that. It Respawn up front and straight up into front. that was the um un, un, yeah if we can pause that was the untimely ending of uh that match ended after chapter two and we headed straight into air 404 versus saint warriors co-cast with the greed respawn, i'll let him take it away respawn up front on the fence all right let's see how that is going in Charger gonna land on Shell. Uh, There's gonna try a cap. Try cap at the back. Oh my gosh. And they set off. Oh. Oh, what a super jockey. <laughs> yeah. Nice separation. Yeah, nice there. jump uh, by Saint Warriors oh. at the chance. But oh my gosh. I love, nice clip for Air 404 as well. 404 just keeping the spirits high. Alright, Charger is gonna bunny hop in. In capping Michelle. 
Hunter's gonna grab. This is gonna be two cap. Oh my gosh, more damage coming out. Yeah, <laughs> Charger. Charger just fisting everybody. <laughs> That's all we need! The Charger pretty much did it by himself. What? Yeah! <laughs> I think that's the last one. It was, yeah. Alright, well now that's the first set. Well, without delay, why don't we jump into the next set? We still got about nine more minutes here before we raid Fig. So let's run it back with some more here. Let's go! First match is Bochi, the left for dead two versus one. Love you. Shell might block and spawn. No, he gets it. Oh, and he gets the charge and the spin. It's almost a try cap, but the jockey finds his target and they got the alarm going off. This is disastrous for Bochi as they lose almost 20% from that. It actually is exactly 20%. Charger rockets in. The charger finds the target. It's going to be a charge spit. The hunter lands too, but it's cleared quickly. Oh, it's gonna be an in-cap and the DB gets munched. Actually, not the DB, the permanent HP. Mwad loses all of his bonus. Bonus down to 50%. Interesting boomer location. Oh, and it's a quad charge! They eat a quad charge! The boomer's gonna get popped here. He's gonna charge again. Maybe another... Oh, no, he gets leveled. But what an amount of damage coming out from Bochi. The quad charge in the corner on the drop. Now this was crazy. They're Watch this ending. The safe room. This is yes, one of the craziest are. endings I've ever seen. What could have been here? And he's rolling in. He gets a first punch early. He switches over, gets a double punch there. A punch onto Rochelle, one more gets the in-cap. That's a down, he gets another corner. There he goes, they land the two-cap! Oh, he gets cleared, can the jockey cover it? The jockey covers, he's gonna, the smoker. Oh, he gets the clear. It's so unfortunate for this, for the special infected. No wipe's gonna come out. Doesn't get much closer than that. No, they no land way. the cap and just couldn't finish it off. And now we'll switch over to the second game for the week that I, I was able to cover, which will be Hakori and Amagami. Bank of the game for his and team. watch Looking to the play commit path of Zyko of here. Band. He gets a one boom. This is very impressive. And it sets up He's everything that unfolds. In. He's got comments coming. They're going to try to body block him on the side. And here they come around. Nice cut off by Zyko here. But he doesn't make it up. Yeets Rochelle down. Switches targets. Leave Rochelle on the bottom. Two, two, two punches go out. A double punch. Oh, he yeets Yanga all the way over the top. Oh, my goodness. The damage spread that's going out right now. He misses Zyko. He's down to 2,500 HP. He now has Rage Quit Noob in the corner. Oh, unfortunate for Yanga. It's going to be a wipe onto Amagami for sure. And that is it. That is a wipe. Nice one. The commit path was oh, very, no, it is not, very but high IQ. Able to get the kill. Yes. But Amagami tried to play aggressive, and they're going to pay for it with a wipe coming out on Pacifice 1. And here we go, and they're just going to go with it. He splits them 2 and 2. And there's actually a crash that goes on here. And Zyko just got a charger when He's his hunter crashed. It. And look what happens with that oh, charger. Oh, double charge! Oh, a what a double setup. charge it's in the corner. A wipe. And unfortunately, no clears going okay, it's hard to make a, a comeback. Clear. Getting yeah. wiped twice. Yeah. Oh, he walks into the car, and oh, that is going to be probably it for Amagami. I don't see a situation where they're going to survive. The smoker should be able to clean it up, and that will be it. And now we go on to Colossus versus Osu. Another great matchup that was back and forth the entire game. Had some good clips to come from it. And this is a great one, an Osu. Up, here it goes, Smoker. Unfortunate for them. Oh, they get a double charge. It is a rolling tricap, and they get quadded. There it is. Osu <laughs> gets wiped from the quad. What are we seeing? Being very patient. Same game, a little later. Now it's Colossus as Survivor. Okay, send it. Charger coming down. Charger lands. It's a rolling tricap, but they can't get Rochelle. 
And it's gonna be a quad! <laughs> they quad him back! Wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it. And they oh, go finale. And they go in finale. Nothing and this is a very in controversial room. call on my part. In there. To go That's inside here and fight it. the tank. Is that that room is dark. Well, they try to get him a stumble. Now they have no charger. He's going in. He jumps over. He gets a double. Oh, and Jockey latches on. Oh, there's so much damage going on. The dumpster. Out. He's down to 14. That garbage can is blocking the yeah, infected. Yeah, the garbage can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's so much damage. It's going to be a wipe. It is going to be a wipe. Oh, no, it's not going to be a wipe. Are they actually going to survive? They're popping, but like, do survive. Oh, oh my, my God. Gosh. And then let's go over to NA's last hope Ooh. against Aura. Which is a, some good, a good one from here. They've chipped him down just a couple hundred, not very much. The car splits the survivors. That car splits, the, no it doesn't, it puts it on the left. He's trying to get the car in play. It's out of play, and now he only has a survivor over in the corner. He's trying to juke him, and he gets cornered, and he doesn't take his pills, and he goes down with two punches. The car flies up, splits the survivors, now two and one. The car, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> it's out of play, the charger comes in to clean it up. And he gets the clear. It's not going to be a wipe as of yet. But it's going to be a lot of damage. The Charger going to Fist City. The Charger got so many oh, punches. The damage going on to Aura I right remember now, but this it's thing. not going to be a wipe. <laughs> I think they should be able to pick some people up. They need to get somebody up now. They're running out of time. Kid should go back and pick the guy up in the corner. Boomer's not going to be able to do anything but boom the down guy. Tank might come in and try to get some punches. I was gonna go for the kill. Well, they might get it. Ooh. There goes a pull. Survivor's almost dead. Host has only 39 HP, and they kill him off, and they will survive. Great damage, so though. A in. lot. He's happy with the spawns that he's got. Oh, this got. is a great tank. There goes the hunter. Oh, the charger was really ambitious. And what's the support from Aura? He gets his corner at 3,000. He gets another punch. He gets another punch, 2,100 HP. In cap at 1,500. He's now chasing the hunter, gets a stumble. He gets the corner. Can the jockey clean it up? No, the clear comes out, but the hunter's still alive. No, he does get killed off. The tank is switching the damage. And now he takes the jock guy, switch targets, punches. Oh, he misses a punch there, and that is Devastating on the so much damage, and I wondered if that hit would have happened. It would have been a wipe. It would have been close. Yep. Now here comes I don't just. Know what the survivors <laughs> do, and they can. I remember forward. this they one too. No choice but to stay here, and it's and they yeah. eat the car. Opa! Not much he could do it's there. Unfortunate. And there's a jock for this is going to be a wipe. The infected did and a good job on bringing the cars in. Falling down yes. to the tank. Smokers, Smokers up. Charger rockets. Charger gets a double! Oh, he eats the survivors back! They both take fall damage! What a charge <laughs> That was great out. to see <laughs> when that happened live. He misses the punch! And he gets the door closed on him! And he misses again! He gets his first punch! The Charger gets a double charge! No one shooting the tank right now! He's missing punches! The tank! He's missing again! Mm. He gets his... Oh my god, I don't even know how many he missed! And he missed again. Oh no! Oh no! You hate oh, to see it. Yeah. Is immediately. All right, we'll do this one Bringing clip here, and then we'll play. send it over to oh, Fig. Oh no! Aura is stuck in a scenario. There goes the smoker pole. They have a survivor. He misses the car. They're gonna have to fight him here. They got no choice. The tank, discreet, gets his corner. Common infected everywhere. He gets another punch. He gets an in-cap. He's got 2,000 HP left. He throws a rock on one side of the bus, tries to curb it around. He's not going to hit anybody. He tries to get his car. He tries to pop it over. It's not going to work. There's still commons everywhere. Oh, he gets a hit on the Bill. No. The car is sat on Bill's face. <laughs> no. He's trying to get another commit. He gets a double punch. And the charger comes in. He gets a double charge. Wait. And it's going to be a wipe. <laughs> the GG's come out. All right. Well, let's pause it here. We'll come back to this. Meanwhile, we're going to send it over to Fake. He's ready to do the live pairing. So we'll be back in a little bit. Send it over to Fig. We'll be back. Let's go.
All right, and we are back. The pairings are over. They are in, Nal, and I am excited and ready to go over it soon. But before we do that, right, Nal... we are back. The pairings oh, wait a minute. are wait, over. I double bound. They are in, My apologies there. <laughs> a little bit of double bound, but the pairings are over. And I think we should continue this highlight reel before we jump into those pairings, Nal. So why don't we just send it right over here, right away. Let's do it. And this one is Ascendant versus My Wilderness Has Made. He's around the corner, already down 1k. He's down 2,000 at the van. They're already holding back. The hunter finds a target. And I have this one out. Tank misses Usually his I don't have survivor play and now clips, but look at this no now. It is only a, a no hitter tank oh, coming no. out. And Ascendant melts it down. Nothing. And look it's at that bonus tank. after the tank dies. 98%. Oh, they should have hit at that point. They're actually, they're, oh, they're going to go. They get a beautiful double charge into the spit. The spit is inside. There's so much oh, damage no. going on. Krija's <laughs> eating it. He's oh, got to no. run all the way through. It was Krija and Justy, though. I got to mix right, up. He's in. And here's Inu's yeah, tank. He fell down the ladder. A little questionable for taking it in here, but this is if you don't yeah. want to have them play he long gets tank. His corner. Coach is no longer shooting the tank anymore. Charger misses. Oh, he gets a double. This tank did so and much work because I don't think any of the SI was really able to help him. Uh, but I think the tank could have died a little quicker if Coach would have shot the tank there. I, I, I know Shotgun wants to get the shot on the special the infected, but at close range, those chromes do about 250 to 270. And now on to NA's last hope versing Aura. This was quite some. En Wait a minute. The uh, awning there. Yeah. That is not correct. <laughs> like, that is not that correct. <laughs> this is I'm Diesel against <laughs> Tempest. <laughs> it was incorrect. And this is where Diesel got wiped. This is a tough yep. chapter to survive, and especially when you got an early tank. Destroyed. And, and this is just beautiful chain reaction. Watch the damage. Every, all the infected. And just so much damage comes out. And they just decide to down him here. Alright, looks like Proof has his tank. He lost about 500 HP. Boomer gets one. And he eats a rock too! <laughs> Through the to door. Some damage or get a wipe or they're gonna lose some of their point lead. He's and in, this is a tough around, tank to navigate. Spawn. Absolutely. Everybody stop shooting the tank for a moment because they're reloading. Oh, the jockey latches. The rock misses. Now the tank has a corner. They're going to clear the jockey instead of shooting the tank. Nick's the only one shooting the tank. And now the tank decommits. By himself, well, everybody else is probably going to be looking at the top left by the air conditioner. The jockey's going in. Going to be able to land every and this charger just, just, just listen to it. And the jockey and the charger just <laughs> I think he so many punches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then unfortunately charges them out of the spit. And here was a great tank coming out from Tempest. Oh, this spawn, the this spawns aren't going to do anything, Amy. They're going to get melted. I think you're right, and the, they're not even going to go in right now. I think they're going to wait for the tank to drop everybody towards the bottom of the sewer where they don't have any high ground. The tank is able to find Unfortunately, his support didn't get anything, but the yeah. tank did a good job on spreading the damage still. And this tank is going to die. Man, but SIs can help. I'll tell you right now, Amethyst, no one's And look at this beautiful the setup. This is now so are. textbook. Oh, double charge. It's a free to the free rock. rock. <laughs> you knew All the spawns are up. Happen. The survivors you are splitting it. themselves for some reason. I don't know. The hunter goes for some. The jockey latches on. The hunter misses. The smoker and jockey two cap. The gut one is. survivor will clear it, but the tank's going to get an in cap. And he's probably still going to die. I don't think he gets anything more than this. There is no decommit path here. Oh, but the jockey does not get cleared. This might actually be a possibility of a wipe still. As he's going to just hide up above. And now they got to make a decision here. They're pushing in. The tank's chasing. They don't know he's coming. Oh, he yeets and Nick over the side. The charger lands. And he misses the hitbox. And it might not end up being a wipe, but it's going to be at least three caps. Only one survivor left. And it's going to be a wipe again, yep. Amethyst. Yeah, get a death Rising charge. Rising fighting. Who are they going to do? <laughs> this is exactly what they're this is go great. How to put it oh, in. They get him. Who'd they get? Oh, it is. The approve. Oh, Sorry, no. approve. <laughs> How to put it in there. Alright, thank you, Fig. We got the map pool and stuff up. 
We'll go through the... He is in. Here goes do more of the clips. Actually, let's we'll just finish the highlights and punch. we'll do it right at the end. It's another punch. Another Keyboard punch. Warriors against you and Ewan. The exciting account. match here. Now they have a 2,000 HBO. He corners himself. The Hunter lands. The clears go out. They're not going to get the wipe. It's going to be a two win cap tank coming out. Neuro is going to decommit and delay this. Beautiful rock, by the way. They already get the pickup. The tank gets a rock. Here they come. The charger from behind gets a two cap. All this. And the charger the gets the slam. Three HP, thirty. Oh, he gets slam an extra slam. 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 I didn't watch this one. I didn't watch this one. It looks like he wants to. And he gets a quad charge. Oh, there it is. He gets a what quad a you. play there by Kiao. For his Jackie team. Jackie Lachesaw with the stumble. Hunter in the spit. The stumbles that went on there was so well Warriors done from you and a lot of damage there. And, and this is a controversial is choice in. too. They fought this in the sewers, nah. Interesting. He's trying to find a target. He gets a punch. He has a corner now. He gets a double punch. There goes a smoker pull. The hunter lands. He's got another corner. The jockey can't capitalize. Jockey trying to find somebody. It's not going to be a wipe, but it's going to be a good amount of damage. Dami spreading the love. One more hit will get the in-cap. He only has one person left. And the crazy part they about all this is his team to come the tank will him. die here, and they do make the save and from no, him. he cannot. Ooh, like the charger. The cemetery. Kind of nice. staying on the ground. He goes in. Gonna go grab Slade. He does. The spit's gonna block. One slam. Two slams. They're all swimming in the spit. One survivor goes up. It's going to be a... Tr oh, oh, they get it clear. One slam. Two slam. Car alarm goes off. <laughs> that One boober getting bullied around. <laughs> Cut him right two, now, like, three times. Board. Jockey latches on. Everything He's gets shut down, clear. but the jock was just yeah. beautiful. It's enough. Yeah. And then the death and spit. The spit damage. Oh, Rochelle almost goes down. VD gonna go in the back door. Slay is in. The boomer gets a nice boom. You a nice double. Is tank, is tank is in. Gets another Ridiculous. punch onto Ellis. It's hard to cap and a double not take punch. damage here. He gets here. a corner immediately. He switches target. There's a pull inside. The jockey can't clean it up. And the, he finally clears the smoker. He gets a punch onto Nick. A double punch. And then the and choice to the throw the rock there, I don't understand that. Sick d double punches. Both of those double punches were really sick. Uh, that was Keyboard Warriors and Ewan, so now the names are backwards for some reason. But and he is in. 1,500 at the door. There's the early pull. He gets the punch yep. at his corner. He's another punch. He one more will get the in-cap, maybe. Nope, he's almost dead. His support has to go. There's the in-cap. The jockey lands. Oh, the hunter goes for the wrong target, but he does find its target. But then kills the hunter. I think if the hunter goes for the other one, the other, the other infected, that, that could have been a white. And that's a great amount of damage coming out from it. And I watch from up in the sky. Oh, this is nice great. The two boom lands, oh, the, the 25. Not only the 25 and all, but someone gets oh, yeeted yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> takes the ball damage. Rock, takes some ball damage. And he is in. Here's their tank on the commit. Calls a distraction. They haven't shot him much. He's still very healthy. They get only one punch so far. He's down to half his health. Bill is not shooting the tank whatsoever. The charger lands. Poor smoker. This tank is so healthy. This hunter might get a kill. No, he won't. Oh, they eat the car. <laughs> what a car covered through. Yeah. And not only that, but then Zoe puts herself punch. in a situation. She said, hello. Another one. And he is in. And he what a jump from that good. tank. That was beautiful. He another punch. Oh, he eats him off. He misses there. He gets a punch there. Oh, it's a tri-cap. There it is. No, it's not. It's a two-cap. It's going to be a lot of damage, but no wipe. He's getting punches. Be I could have swore that was a try cap. It was so here close. It it. Oh. And this hit Jockey is amazing, too. On. Charger gets a triple charge. Oh, they get yeeted off into the spit. And they will lose the round. The bonus is still ticking down. 
Oh, the hunter gets a little him. misplay on the separation. Poker covers. Oh, it's a great combination from question mark. We have to... Good capitalization, HP. though. 2400, yes. the charger lands. He walks into a double. And the ending the of this tank lands. is no amazing. Tank for quite some time now. Smoker and the tank knew what was going on right here. No, this is a great finish. Is he going to try for a car? Oh, he almost gets it. Oh, and he does! Oh, he gets the car with the last hit! Oh, no. Try to keep him in here. He is making his way over. It was a great pull. And now Chrysler is going to cut off the team. In. The, the spin spinner way. backs they him up. Take the tank here. He's in. He gets a double punch on the survivors. Another double kills the spinner. Gets another punch. In cap, they're doing a good job on damaging the tank, though. He's already down to 2,400. Eats the car. The hunter's trying to find a target. Can the hunter find him? No, he cannot yet. Chrysler comes back over. He takes the corner on to Francis. Another punch. He's down to 900. Another punch, and Lucky Lock just goes for the pickup. And he's going to get a grind out. Actually, he couldn't get the grind out because the way he was wedged in there. And then now we go to 44 Biceps and Looper Family. And this game was a pretty uh, entertaining game right support? from the beginning. Oh, the, the charger, charger gets the him car. into the car. <laughs> this is huge for Looper Family. They get one. Here comes the support. He's only down to 1,400 HP. Hunter gets killed. He gets the kill. This is big for Looper Family. They'll kill off the tank. And not only do the, were they able to get the kill, but here is the chance for them to the wipe them out. Jockey. And they land the tricap. It's a wipe. And Boomer, I mean. They all Here's focus that hunter so hard, yeah. and then oh my God, Looper and family something. drops and the ball. Right you hate there. to see it. And this no. tank is very, very healthy as the rock lands. And it's a two boom. And, and the, the strafe jump lands. on that boom was amazing. <laughs> what a strafe from the it's Boomer. Probably gonna end up yeah. being a wipe. Yes, it is. This is going to be a wipe. Now they have their quad. Smoker is up top. Oh, the hunter gets melted. The charger lands. It's a rolling tri cap coming in. And the survivor. Wrong one. It's going to be an in cap up top no matter what. Almost an in cap on the bottom. And there indeed they're going to go. Look how healthy they are right here. And watch what happens. Yes, it actually does. They have two people swimming in the spit. Oh, they're all in the spit. They're melting away the bonus. What is happening? What oh, is my spot? goodness. Dude, catch mad. Nice. Here they go. Very unorthodox hit. And just a and beautiful try cap. And coming out. Yeah. And one survivor ran back, and that is going to be it. It's going to fall apart for Looper family. The bonus is melted away. And then here it is, Fear Factory and Vaso de Lecce. The match, one of the most entertaining matches of the week, for here. sure. Hunter finds a target, it'll be a pound spit. They get a pull cover, the car alarm goes off, they gotta run through the spit. And Fear Factory is gonna take a lot of damage from the second hit. And he hits the ground at 5,300, he's through the door. 4,500, survivors are backing up, they're kiting him around. The Hunter finds a target, he throws a rock. The jockey's gonna try to cover him, he tries to bait the the hunter is still not cleared yet. The charger lands, and it's only going to be, and it's a dry cap coming out. Oh my gosh, there's only one survivor left. Can he get it clear? The tank can't catch him, and they will get it clear. He gets a punch. Survivor might die from the hunter. Interesting spitter location. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the jockey. They get no. the in cap. Oh, no. Oh, he hangs himself, and it's a double charge. The hunter, the hunter can end it. Hunter just couldn't get through the door, though. Yeah, right. And here is the tank. He's on his way. Hits the ground at 4,500. He splits the survivors, three and one. Actually, Chris gets punched. Jockey catches Chris in the air, and it's a rolling tri cap, and the rock lands. It's going to be a wipe on the Fear Factory. Oh, yeah. Bravo can't get out. <laughs> the LOL from Chris. And right to the other side. Now they navigate out. The jockey will land on someone up top. Oh, it's going to be a bit in cap on Mizor. Boom, down. Charger lands in the spit. And Vaso de Lecce is going to get demolished at the same that choke point. That is so entertaining. <laughs> yes, is. it is. He dodges as so many bullets as he can. Hunter finds a target. The jockey latches in there. He's going to run inside. 
He gets the cover. Oh, this is going to be huge. He gets the doubles. Chris is lighting it up for his team. There's two in caps. He still has half his HP. He can play inside and guard a little bit. Pick up. Here can they come. Can they clean it up? The smoker doesn't have a spawn. The charger does. They're all going. Here comes the smoker cleanup. And they get the wipe. Back to back wipes come out. Boomer, never mind. I don't know what that that noise was. I thought it was a boom. Oh, he stumbles him into a punch. The jock lands. The charger covers, but the jock gets cleared quickly, and it's not going to be much coming out from their tank. The tank is 400 HP. The boomer lands a double, and the tank will get killed. Smoker gets a pull. He can't land his rock. The hunter will land. And a 57 oh, health punch. punch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gets a punch. Right, here comes the smoker pull. Smoker lands. Hunter finds a target. Pound spit, still not clear yet. Oh, the damage on the Vassal de Lecce is so much right there. They get almost 20% gone. And that's gonna be huge for Fear Factory because every point counts right now. As they go inside to clear a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna stay inside. This is interesting. Especially with a spitter. To be help more helpful for the infected if they stay in here. And here they go. Hunter's coming in. Hunter finds a target. Spitter was like, so late though. Boomer gets a scratch. There wasn't much from that, but they do get a little bit more damage. Cannoli down to. Wow, that tank spawns so fast. And this is. And here a big tag for tank Fear Factory out. Fear Factory. I cut a lot of the, the video in here to let this kind of flow at the end. Remember, this finale only has one tank on zone mod. They will not have a second. For those that are used to finales having two tanks, that will not happen on this map. Good job navigating through the map, trying to minimize <laughs> the chip. Yeah, yeah. But he wants to get to his toys. This is the high ground. They might want to play a little rock for a while. the cart They're in a good spot the survivors are split now here is a little oh, he questionable actually, no, he, never mind he couldn't have got the, that now the tank is stuck in a scenario the here now no where way. it's kind of difficult for him in, not to take chip over as props. but i think when the tank repositions here the survivor make a huge misplay okay, he's just going to transition to minimize the damage oh, he already lost he's lost so much health already and here it goes. And he is in. And he goes for the car, which I don't think was the play. Oh, wait a minute. Can he get the car in on him? Oh, he splits him. Oh, and no. he gets the in cap. There Can it he is. Get the death? I don't know. It's going to be a hard death to get. He's going to try for it. One punch. Two punch. One more. Can he get it? He gets the yeah, death. No and there's a two cap Please. going out. Oh, he's going to go over. He's going to try to get another one. A punch onto Rochelle, another punch onto Rochelle, and Chris will oh, die. What a off, great but tag for his that's team exactly there, what they securing under. the kill. And here they go. Here comes the charger. Oh, what a skeet! The charger lands. It's a two cap up top. The charge. Now Fear Factory has to go successful. with their survivor play. Here he's just giving up some of his HP. He wants a hit. It's gonna be a two cap. And here comes no one room. of the most questionable oh, calls no, ever. No. He gets the heat cap, but look at too. his health. No way. And watch what unfolds. Hydro is probably going to die here. Way too greedy trying to pick this up. You can't do it. This is a death. But they got to kill this tank. Smoker gets a pull. He's just he's not going to go for a death. They're going for damage. They get another punch. He can't get the car hit. And I think they drop down. Here it goes. The smoker's not in position. And they're gonna send it here. The smoker lands, the hunter lands, the jockey gets m 2 And it's not gonna be enough. Fear Factory will get the victory over Vaso de Lecce. And that will be the end of the highlights for the week. It was a close one to the end there. Fear Factory wins by shutting down the quad right at the end. Yeah, good stuff. All right, now let's go to the pair, uh, pairings for the week. Give me one second to bring this up. Everybody might want to watch their eyes because this only comes in a 
Here, I'll put it this way. There we go. That way it won't take up the whole screen and be bright and rape everybody's eyes. <laughs> See if I can make this look better. No, it's just gonna stay here. One second. All right, there we go. All right, we'll do the pairings for the week here. You can see it pretty good right now. Oh yeah. All right, let's start from the bottom and we'll work our way up. I like it. I will right, we'll start. I'll let you, t you take the first five. Go ahead. Sure. All right, uh, Los Huequis del Sur versus Yafue. It's gonna be South America versus Europe. Uh, should be, a, I've covered a little bit of Los Huequis. Excited for that one. Uh, but what I'm even more excited for is 28 Zero Fang versus La Pantera de Callao. Zero Fang going to have their work cut out for them here against the Panteras. Uh, they've had some tough losses against some great teams, and they're here to fight it out. Up next, where TF is Hu Yiru up against Fearless. Uh, that is going to be China versus China. Um, so that's going to be an early morning match. Be sure to catch that one. I'm excited for Sunrise versus Air 404 Skill Not Found as well. I've been able to cover all of Air 404's matches so far, as well as Sunrise. I think this is going to be a great matchup to watch with these lower winning or lower seeded teams. I, I did see, I did watch that game that you casted with Air uh, 404 Not Found with uh, Greed subbing in for both sides for a he little bit. In on both sides. Shout out to Greed. That was hilarious. And also, show, it also shout out to Gun Doodle playing very well for his team. Unfortunately, just not able to pull it off by himself. Absolutely. And then the last one for me, we got Vac versus Inhypen. Um, I don't, I haven't seen too much of Inhypen. Watch Vac against uh, Gladstain. Definitely excited to see what they've got in store if they can recover from that loss. All right, and then we'll go on the next patch of games. It's going to be Streamer Family Lord P's home against. Chalo, I believe I pronounced that that name correct. Yeah, they're going to be playing against each other. I believe that South American team against a, I believe that is a Chi uh, China team, if I remember Absolutely. correctly. Absolutely, uh, Mabao on the squad. Yeah, we'll yes. Away from Bochi this time on Chalo this time for RBT seven. And then we'll move our way up to Blue White Bull against Southside. Again, it's another Chinese Chinese team against a South American team. If I have them correct, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. And then we'll bowl with uh, team players such as W and PP. So I'm big, uh, very cool names coming out from them. And they've put on a show as well when I've been able to cast them. And then we'll go to Area 69. And then Penguins in Japan, a very popular name it, it, it seems to be. I believe, is that the team with Powerless, if I have it correctly? Or, do, or is that Ninjas in Paris? Um, I, Penguins in Japan, I believe, does have pa uh, Powerless as well as Wiz. Yes, okay, okay. Uh, Smack Nerd, yes. And then we'll go up to Anti Skills against Pixel Gunners 3D. Both of those teams trying to further their record and hopefully get into the playoffs, which is a little undetermined if we're going to have 8 or 16. I hope we get 16, but who knows? We'll see what happens by the time that we get there, of course. And then we'll go on to the last one before I send it back over to you. We'll have Wings getting a bye week this week. Unfortunately, with the teams I dropped out, that's just how it works out for them. Yep. yep. But moving into a heavy hitter, Los Contra de Sumadre, the left, up against Raw, of course. Uh, uh, at CSMRE is AK GOAT. Uh, that is definitely going to be a match to watch for me. Raw going to have their work cut out for them. Uh, heading into our next match, Las Yantes, Equipo de El Rudetas, up against Signalis, uh, a European team. And that'll be an interesting match to see. I think it should be a good match to watch. I think Signalis might slightly have the upper hand, but we'll have to see how that plays out. Up next, Koyak Gangs versus EE. Uh, that is going to be South America versus China as well. And uh, we've seen Quick Gangs around since May's Cup, as well as playing through the South American Cups. And but EE has put on excellent performance out of what we've seen. Unfortunately, couldn't play their match last week. Uh, they were the ones that just barely beat out La Pantera de Callao in the finale. We've also got another heat match: Vaso de Lecce versus Keyboard Warriors. That's definitely going to be one to watch for sure. South America versus South America. And 
Tempest versus Carer One. Tempest has been surprising me at every turn. They've had a great showing so far. Care One, um, they they do have two wins, but I haven't I haven't seen as much out of them. Excited to see that how that match plays out. Of course. All right, then we'll set it up to the next five games. We'll have Amigami against Gladstain. Oh. Am Amigami was in the number one seed, tied with Aura. Unfortunately, Amigami lost their game, so. The They'll dip out of that top position, go down a little bit on the ladder, and Gladstain's going to have their work cut out for them. And if I did my math correctly here, no, I believe those two Chinese teams, so I think that's going to be easy Gladstain for them to skip. Is tie. Oh, it is? A rare tie team, yeah. Uh, they are, but that's still going to be similar time zones, of course. But just an interesting note that we do have a tie team here at RBT7. They've been doing quite well. Got a win versus back in round three. And then we'll go on to Soon versus Daughters of the Roasted Chickens. They'll be swearing off. Daughters of the Roasted Chickens will have their work cutting out for them playing against Soon. Soon is a team that's been working up their ranks over in the Asia community. I know you've been covering a lot of their games, and they've been in, in some playoffs trying to make their name heard getting up the ranks. Yeah, they won their semifinals match for the Air National Security Cup. They went straight into... Um, uh, well, an early morning match for me at the Magical Bamboo Cup versus uh, Med. They, only four players on the roster, by the way, but they have them show up every single time, and they are a stellar team. They have insane cohesion. We'll see how they do against Dyers of the Roasted Chickens. And then we'll go to Nice Try playing against Crime Land. Crime Land were able to get back up again another victory last week. With Venom, uh, Senji, Morn, and Wins on that team. Nice try. Going to have a little bit of a work, uh, um, a battle, in my opinion, here. But I'm looking forward to seeing that game and how that game ends up. And then next one is going to be Colossus against Simfor Lama. That one should be another good one. Zimfer Lama is a team that's been playing also in the South American community, trying to make their name known, getting some wins, working their way up. But it's going to be tough against Colossus. And with the match they had the past week... Um, Nal it came down to literally the last couple hits on the chapter it went on the Dark Carnival finale. It's going to be tough for CM for Lama, but you never know what they got in store. And then we have Aura against Once Loved You. I believe this is a China team against a Russian team, if I have these teams correct. I'm pretty sure that's where they come from. Look at Aura is looking to bounce back, uh, bounce back from their unfortunate loss to... NA's last hope, playing on Death Toll, and of course, when you play on Death Toll, it usually comes down to how are the hittables going to work, and it just didn't go for them this time around. Oh, yeah. let's go up to the next five. Go ahead, now. All right, we got Ninjas in Paris against Akatsuki. Honestly, Ninjas in Paris kind of threw their round one win against Agartha. This could be a 3-0 team, uh, so they're definitely going to be looking strong against Akatsuki, but Akatsuki has put on a show every time I've cast them. Uh, this is going to be an even matchup here in Southeast Asia up against South America. Then we've got Agartha versus Saint Warriors. Saint Warriors is going to be it's going to be an uphill battle for them against Agartha, uh, representing Mexico. Saint Warriors representing Peru. Um, and they did have a very strong showing against Air 404. We'll see if they can bring that momentum into this week. My Wilderness has made versus AI generated uh, China versus North America here. Uh, My Wilderness has made, haven't heard too much about them before RBT7, but they've been killing it. AI generated a little bit more established um, and they've been excelling as well as the scoreline shows. Then we've got uh, actually a 3-0 versus a 2-1 here for UN versus 44 biceps. Some may argue that 44 biceps, you know, had a they it could very well be a 3-0 if they had played out that finale. So this will be a great match to watch. Russia versus Europe. Top five. And then we have question of mark against Team Greedy. Greedy right now, surprising, starting out 3-0. Good job for them. Trying to make their name known here, and now they're going to have their battle against them against Lions Team Question Mark. That one is one that I'm excited for, and I'm looking forward to that one as soon as it's scheduled, and we'll get that one up and running. 
as we go to the next one, it's going to be Fear Factory against Hakori. Now, this is an interesting game here, Naw, because this is a grand finals of Mace Cup rematch in RBT Swiss stage. And not only is it that, Naw, but Hakori has Zyko, which has also been a member of Fear Factory in the past. Oh, right. Got some insider info. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting to see them play against each other, and that's what I'm going to be excited for. Question is, will we see the return of Manzano? He was not able to make it this time. We'll have to see when that time comes. And also, now we have Diesel against NA's Last Hope. NA's Last Hope starting 3-1. and one. Same with Diesel. Diesel has a couple members of Envy of it, on it, also rising, and they're starting very strong, as not losing as well. And now the top two games is going to be Bochi of the Left 4 Dead 2 against Looper Family. Again, Looper Family starting out 3-0, and uh, three and, oh, and Bochi is starting out 3-0. and oh. And the crazy part is one of them are going to be 4-0 oh after this chapter. Some underdogs in this tournament, but Bochi, the last couple of months, and I know you can stand by this, Nal, they've been yep. working up the ranks too and beating some top teams. Yeah, they have been looking nasty, and they are 3-0 and oh to prove it. And then the final matchup for the for the week is going to be Team Ascendant against Team Osu. And this is going to be an exciting one. Osu has been playing for quite some time. And Ascendant, also Skyrise, with Kryja on it. Innuendo, Frey, Sage, I mean Stage, and Fincy. I am looking forward to that one as for some reason my Dropbox is letting me know I need more space. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But this match is going to speak for itself. I mean, what more do you need to say? Oh, super ascendant. Hell yeah. But, all right. That is actually going to end it for here. I don't think there's anything else left for us to touch base with here. No, if there's anything else you'd like to add. That's it. That's it. Let's get into round four. All right. You'll have your matches up soon. Um, later on tonight, we'll have it up going into the next day good morning everybody good afternoon and good evening of course <laughs> and but for now we're gonna send it off here we're gonna do a raid get everybody some free zombies for hanging out with us talking about the uh, upcoming pairings and some of the highlights for the week it's always a pleasure but before we head out of here let's do a few shout outs if you want to send any now before i do go ahead uh shout out to the chat how y'all doing Take it away. All right. Shout out for the tournament admins for running the tournament. Sh uh, Stabith and an entire sleeve of Fig Newtons. Also, shout out for the server admins for having the servers for us to play on. Of course, the teams for playing in the tournament. And most important, everybody at home for watching. Because without you guys, it's not possible. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. And happy zombie killing.